G'day mate, welcome, welcome to this fantastic, late, well one o'clock in the, two o'clock in the morning screening of the Seventh Heaven movie, The Kidnapping of Simon, and I hope you all enjoy this, this should be fantastic, okay, and I'm not gay, gay is the other kind of thing, sticking a cock up the, up the arse of another man, it's nothing to do with this, but anyway, I don't want to do that too much, it looks a bit sort of wussy, but anyway, have a listen. Eric Camden is having a hard time battling with his faith in God and his family sharing problems with him that are problems no man on earth can answer. And when he went to, to the church one day, a homeless man befriended him because he really needed money and Eric really wanted to help him out. But the church funds are low this month and the homeless man accepted it as he went over to the park bench <coughs> where he slept for the night. Every night the homeless man and a few of, a few of his old school friends really partied in the town park making a bit of noise and none of them were really looking like going far. Apparently that might be the homeless man in question who got a bit pissed and decided to go around mugging people to get some cash. And Eric's son Simon was out with a friend Luke and the homeless man went up to the reverend's son to steal what he had and Simon kicked him in the gut and then he said mate I have a home to go to and you are a worthless loser and you will never take anything from the reverend's son and then Simon kicked him in the gut very hard again. Simon went home after that and decided, boy, I've got to tell my family about this. And then he decided he didn't want to. Meanwhile, the homeless man wanted revenge and had this plan. First, he will send a phony email from Simon's teacher and then sent another phony email from a fictitious character named Bob Wright and went upon his plan to kidnap Simon and ask Eric to pay the ransom for, from the church fund. But first, he had to fool a few people into believing he can be a very good relief teacher. When the day came, Simon caught the bus to school with his friend Luke, and when they when they got to their school, they put their bags in their lockers, and they all went to class. And Simon and his classmates noticed they had a relief teacher, which Simon wanted to tease a bit. Like kids always tease a relief teacher. Like, you know, we're going to put a, a rubber spider on your chair or put a whoopee cushion on your chair and rub a spider in your drawer kind of thing. When Simon wants to tease a bit, yeah. And the teacher knew what he was talking about. And Simon and his classmates were shocked. And his plan worked because he was, he, ha he has a great reason to get Simon before the end of the day. <coughs> and really make the school think twice about checking for qualifications. And then Simon said to him, a hey, dick-faced teacher, how do you spell fuck your motherfucker? And straight away he told Simon to stay back after school. And Simon was worried what his dad would say if he came home late today. Then, when, then went the bell. And the teacher went to Simon's desk and put his hand over his mouth and quietly said, you are, this ain't no detention. You, I have you. And soon you will find out that you have been kidnapped. Simon was scared. And about in one hour, Simon was tied up in the homeless man's stolen BMW's boot. And despite struggling, Simon thought he was going to kill him. And in... About one hour, the homeless man rang up Eric from work and showed him a photo of Simon tied up in his boot. And if he wants to see him alive again, give him the money he needs. Eric went straight away to alert the family that they must come up with some money to free Simon from the boot of the BMW. And his wife and kids were shocked. And Lucy was wanting to face him, you know, face to face. But Mr and Mrs Camden said no, 
had wanted to call the policeman. <coughs> Despite the kidnapper saying, call the police, dead silent. Eric decided to deliver the ransom at the church, and he was there, but he refused to give it back to Simon. To give back Simon. Because kidnapping the reverend's son was going to make him rich, and he told Eric, keep giving me money, and I will decide when you see Simon. Eric told him that God doesn't take too kindly to kidnapping, but the kidnapper said, yes, but I don't believe in God. I believe in killing the reverend's son if he doesn't stop preaching to him and to me. <coughs> but because if there was a God, I would have a home and you would have a, no son named Simon. Simon tried to call Eric, but the gag was on, wrapped tightly around his mouth and Eric went home and to his family and, and his wife's surprise, they called the police. And yeah, it was a risk they had to take because he is playing with us and he is using Simon to scare us. And Lucy went out to try to rescue Simon, thinking she knows where he's being held. But the problem was she was right. And also, yes, now the kidnapper has Lucy as well. As Simon and as Simon tied up and he called the Camdens and told them, I have two of your kids with me now and I can make you pay a bigger ransom and I will tell you, you will never see Simon and Lucy ever again. The Camdens were shocked as were, Cam as were Mrs Camden tried to make sure she loses any, doesn't lose any more kids. As she looked, locked the door, and then held the key in her hand very tightly. I am not losing any more kids tonight. And Eric told the kidnapper that, you've had your fun. Kids are innocent. Take me and let my kids go. And the kidnapper said, you have hairs on your legs. I like no hairs on people. And Lucy and Simon are doomed forever. The Camdens all slept in the lounge room staying by Mrs. Camden's side because none of them wanted to be next in line. While Eric gave the kidnapper the rest of his savings and still he didn't get the kids back and Eric got mad and said, you have taken all my money. What do you want with Simon and Lucy? And the kidnapper said, I want Simon and Lucy to suffer just like I did. Well, originally I just wanted Simon because he made fun of me the other night. But Lucy, she has nice kitty legs, and I like that feeling of giving her, of not giving her back to you either. And Eric said, I am sure if Simon said he was sorry, he could go. They are just children, and if one day you have kids of your own, you will understand that this is wrong. <coughs> and the kidnapper got his rifle and bought Simon and Lucy out, pointing the rifle at their backs and told Eric, if you let these kids out of your sight again, I will kill them. And I ain't afraid to kill kids. And Eric, thinking that a kidnapper was a real pedophile who really hated them, brought Simon and Lucy home, and the whole family were reunited. Lucy was quiet for days, and she was traumatized, but she got over it, thought it was cool, and as, she, as he bragged to, to his mates, about being tied up in a homeless man's boot. But deep down, Simon was scared, and he and Lucy talked to each other about it every night so he can figure out why they were targeted like that. Well, the homeless man was in prison, and he said, I will kidnap Simon again, and I will actually kill him too. And well, whether he said that just to stay in jail, we don't know. But it worked. The end. <coughs> and that was a great, a great episode. And let's see how it works out.